So what we have here is something special because we just got the RTX 3090 Founders <laughs> Edition and <laughs> <laughs> we just got the RTX 3090 and also the Samsung Q950 TS yeah. is it? TS Yeah, this is the 65 inch version and it supports 8K 60fps or 4K 120fps so what we're going to do here today is pretty simple. We're just going to run some games on 8K as of now and see how well does the RTX 3090 actually handles it and also how well does your game scale up to 8K. Right now we're running the Dirt Rally games. Uh, How old is this game again? I, I don't know man because actually I wanted to try the F1 2019 mm -hmm. on this setup but unfortunately the game keep crashing for no reason. I don't know why. Okay, it just I mean, doesn't work. It just doesn't work because that one is a much young, newer games we have younger right now. Game. Younger, mm. newer. <laughs> You know? Yeah, this game is technically older than my nephew. Okay, as you can see here, we actually got the Xbox telemetry system. I'm not too sure what's it called, but it's built into your Windows 10 system if you have updated to the latest version. And you can see the CPU, GPU, VRAM and system RAM and also your FPS at the same time. And this game being so old, we are running at 8K and you can see the frame rate is at about 40-ish frames per second while the GPU is kind of jumping between 80 to 60 something percent of utilization. VRAM is about 61 percent. Remember, this RTX 3090 has how many gigs of VRAM in it? 24? Uh, 24 gigs. <laughs> yeah, 24 gigs. So technically, it's like 15 gigs used up. So it takes up quite a lot of uh, your VRAM real estate because all the pixels and uh, stuff they need to like load at all at once mm -hmm. and remember these kind of old games they don't have DLSS or whatever so it will literally stress your GPU quite a lot uh, the ghost runner the ghost runner it's like even games like those is like taking up uh, it's not running smooth it's like not entirely smooth yeah. there are some frame dips here and there even though ghost runner does have DLSS <laughs> Nope, Ghost yeah. Runner does have DLSS ray tracing and you can also select DLSS in terms of three different levels, performance, something else and also quality. We ended up running on quality but the frame rate is not consistently 60 frames per second. Let's jump into Genshin Impact because that game does not have DLSS, it's a new game and also you can pretty much tune it to the highest graphical settings and see how the 3090 actually uh, struggles. Now we are running Genshin Impact with the highest possible graphical settings, everything set to the max, even the rendering scale is at 1.5 times. Just to confirm that, we'll head back down into graphical settings, everything is at highest. Actually we can turn off anti-aliasing but it's just there. And yeah. also we turn off motion blur because it's an um, annoying no, feature. <laughs> just, just don't. Okay, so now you can see here with it's nothing much is happening on screen, but the GPU is really like nearly 90% utilization. So yeah, VRAM, however, it's only about 40%, so you still have a lot of headroom left. And now you can see that the CPU really doesn't matter at all. We are using an AMD Ryzen 3950X. 3950X. Uh, 16 gigs of uh, DDR4, 4000 megahertz RAM. What RAM is that the again? The Clef Cross oh. XR RGB. Ah, okay. You can check out the review at the top right corner there. And currently it's still at 60 FPS because you're viewing mountains. Yeah. Oh my god, question so marks. Like all the question marks. Doesn't matter, that's because of the game problem actually. You know what? Try traveling to the city. Okay, I can see frame dips here and there. But okay, it's pretty consistent at around 60 FPS. But I'm not too sure if the weather affects the game quality. It should, it should, but right now we, we're mm. not sure where can we. Yeah, let's for... look at your frame rate. It's... Yeah, it's going down. It's going down. Okay, one reason why is because in cities you have a lot more characters, so you need to draw a lot more. 
uh, what is that again? Draw a lot more polygons, polygons. for your character, yes. and then to also impose more texture packs on them if if the characters look different. So yeah, you can't get mm. consistent sixty FPS, but it's just slightly below sixty. What the? Yeah, you still get frame dips here and there, but it's down to like fifty at the lowest. Still perfectly fine. So now as you can see here, we are running Pumpkin Jack, 8K, everything at maximum without V-Sync and also FPS cap and we turn on both Ray Tracing and DLSS because without DLSS, 8K is kind of impossible for this game even though it's highly stylized for cartoonish game. Yeah, you can see right now we got like about 65, 66 frame rates. That's yeah, like it's really, really playable good. game. It just launched like last month, two yeah. months or so. Halloween. Yeah, Halloween, right? It's just in time for Halloween. And some of you guys might be wondering why we are not like testing some of those AAA titles and everything like that. Like Doom Eternal? Well, I believe you guys have watched some other bigger YouTubers that have done this test. Yes. Already. So, which is why we are trying some older games and see how it actually scales up. Because yeah. no one else has tried that as, of, as far as I know, mm -hmm. at least. Yeah, and not just because of the older games, uh, because some, sometimes it's like what kind of challenges we are facing when we try to go for higher resolutions. Like just now we tried the F1 2019, it just won't launch. I'm not too sure is it because of the resolution issue or what, but that really definitely needs uh, further investigation on that. And not just F1 2019 actually you also face some other problems with like uh, what do you call that game launchings and things like that <laughs> game launching is problematic uh, yeah not just that also scaling some <laughs> games they have uh, lower resolution uh, sprites and stuff like that or image that don't scale well some games just refuse to run at 8k like mm. Super Meat Boy I don't understand why but it's just it's just not an option that's the thing, developers self-impose limitation okay. in their engine so that they don't want users like us like uh, <laughs> do stupid things with the stuff. Let's say we got 8K, not just 8K, let's say some users they have like 4 4K TVs and they want to play Super Meat Boy on that. Um, yeah, sometimes their engine is maybe it's not so optimized. Just let me play Super Meat Boy in 8K. So, so yeah. In terms of the technological part, like the hardware, yes, hardware, the TV, you got HDMI 2.1, the RTX 3090, all of this is capable of producing great high resolution images, but then again, software side, yeah, mm -hmm. you still need quite a little bit of uh, work, especially from a developer side. Yeah, and especially with the help of the OSS 2.0, I would presume more games is able to run at 8K, but only if the game supports the RSS 2.0. Again, developers. Yeah, developer side. You know what? Uh, I'll jump into what I mean by developer support by hopping into ahead in time because that game is just torturous at <laughs> highest graphical settings. Okay, so we tried ahead in time. It refused to run because previously it kind of crashed while exiting and then now the whole thing just stopped working. Yeah, so no idea why but we'll hit into Ghost Runner. I was going to say Ghost Rider. Ghost Rider. <laughs> <laughs> but okay, Ghost Runner is a new game which I have played so I'm kind of familiar with the game mechanics and uh, this game, let me show you the graphical settings. It's kind of weird. Okay, so you can see here we are running at 8K. Render scale, even though it's 200%, it's not native 8K. And then fidelity upsampling, I'm just going to up it because you want to compensate for the lack of the render resolution scale. DLSS in quality, and everything else just set to high. Ray tracing turned on, VSync turned off, everything is at maximum. Gore, obviously you're going to need that. Click apply. And now we'll start running and killing. But the thing is, I did notice that the text is not exactly that sharp. Yes, the text is problematic. So this is another thing that has to be fixed by the developer side. Yeah. 
it's probably the render scale problem, but text though, text is supposed to be the easiest to render. Yeah. Yeah, so this game is like a 3D Super Meat Boy, you will die a lot. And it's also trial and error timing. And it, this game has a lot of uh, finicky controls and also just superficial roadblocks just to frustrate you. See? <laughs> but let me just go back into the video settings and... Well, let's just... Why is ray tracing not turned on? Apply settings. Okay. Okay. Ray tracing uh... don't work. Okay, now we know why the frame rate is at 60 because ray tracing doesn't work. I don't know why. Yeah, we just turn off the OSS. And yeah, you can see the frame rate start dropping. It dips a bit. Not really consistent. Oh no, wrong move. No, again wrong move. To be completely honest, I think without the OSS, the game looks better. It somehow looks brighter. Why? Eh? It's not just brighter, it actually feels like sharper. I don't know, I really need to look at some of the text if available. Uh, yeah, speaking of the text, this game doesn't scale up the text. How come the controls feel more responsive now? Hmm. Yeah, the text is still pixelated. Oh, oh, oh you can see the frame rate when you come into this room. Oh, yeah. It's still pixelated. Still pixelated. The text is still pixelated. Look at it. But oh, in terms oh, of the, the Oh no. So in conclusion, what do we think about? RTX 3090 with NVIDIA's claim of 8K gaming. I'll start off by saying that it's it works if it wants to work. Other than that, it's kind of finicky, especially when it comes to older games or maybe just technologically not as advanced as those AAA titles. They don't have their SS, they got a lot of construction noise outside. And also, if, if the games just outright don't scale support, up properly. They don't support it at the same time. Yeah. Well, I personally think that uh, the RTX 3090 is a good first step into 8K. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of people have been saying how NVIDIA has been like uh, trying to sell 8K gaming to everyone, uh, something, a promise that they couldn't fulfill. Personally, I think it is more than just the hardware itself, but it is the a games. whole community. Not just the hardware, as well as the game developer have to like make use of the available hardware, like, like the TV you have here, the GPU, the CPU and everything. Mm -hmm. and, and you have to make sure your game actually supports the OSS, that's most important. Uh, I think if without the OSS, the games just can't run at 8K. Because this is like the first step, always you have faced a lot of difficulty at right now and like even it struggles to like maintain at 60 fps so it's like right now it's at like 50 over um yeah this it, is with dlss turned off and yeah. also ray tracing turned off so you, you can sort of imagine what kind of uh, troubles uh, you you would face if you were not to use the 3090. Mm -hmm. and also 8k gaming i still think that it's not meant for everyone it's possible take this more like a showcase not to say that you should get this now because the TV itself is really like how many thousand? Uh, the one we have here is a Q950TS, 65 inch is 25,000 ringgit Malaysia. <laughs> yeah, 25,000 for an 8K TV. And we're not even like going to like the 75 inch, that one is like 45,000. <laughs> yeah, and uh, one thing that I need to highlight is that if you don't want to game at 8K 60fps, you can also game at 4K 120fps, which I think is much more feasible and also makes a lot more sense as of now because even the latest generation of consoles, Xbox and PS5, they both can run at 4K 120fps.
and also 8K60. However, if I were to choose, I would choose 4K120. Yeah, and 4K120 is supposed to take up half of the GPU performance of 8K60 FPS, according to well, raw performance. By the numbers. Uh, yeah, okay. by the numbers, but then in real life, it doesn't work that way. So one thing I do like about the RTX 1390 is the potential to scale up to higher resolution texture packs because of that 24 gigs of VRAM. Mm. Uh, but then if you include DLSS, I'm not too sure how it's gonna play out. So far, we have never seen any game that's going beyond 80% of VRAM usage in this card. But we'll see, maybe in the near future, maybe Cyberpunk 2077, when it comes out, if it ever comes out, then we'll see even higher utilization in terms of graphical settings. So, yeah. yeah. So that's all for now. Yeah. And we'll see you next time.